Ukrainian F-16 pilots recently began training in the United States. The Pentagon said the training period for Ukrainian pilots is expected to last five to nine months. The Netherlands, Denmark, and Norway have committed to providing Ukraine with F-16 fighters after the pilots complete the training program. In addition to fighters, the weapon configuration accompanying the F-16 is also a big concern for Ukraine to take advantage of the power of these modern fighters. The F-16 fighter has proven itself to be a multi-purpose and multi-role platform. Since the 1990s, the integration of aviation weaponry onto F-16 fighters has gained momentum. Countries that had their own missile programs could easily upgrade their F-16 to use non-American air-to-air missiles or air-to-ground. To date, the most common armament configuration for F-16A and C fighters consists of using short-range AIM-9 and medium-range AIM-120 missiles. These missiles provide the basic capabilities for engaging in aerial combat at various distances and intercepting enemy targets both within direct range and in close air combat. The AIM-9X missile takes the center role in executing maneuvering area combat and has become the main short-range missile for most F-16 fighters worldwide since 2005. The new MK-139 engine has expanded the missile's maximum fly range to 30 km against fixed targets and increased its maximum speed. In the M version, this range just 21 km. Despite this, practical warfare experience demonstrates that Russian fighters are cautious when flying near Ukraine's borders and avoid possible collisions, making the use of the AIM-9M missile fully viable in countering cruise missiles and drones, which pose a significant threat to Ukraine. As for the AIM-120 missile, its technical and dimensional capabilities allow for a deployment against targets in aerial combat. However, the missile is better suited for launches at short and medium ranges. Despite active developments within the MRAM missile family, most versions of the F-16 fighters including the F-16A Block 20 MLU that Ukraine will acquire in the near future, employ the basic AIM-120C version. The maximum firing range of this missile varies in different assessments, with estimations ranging up to 105 km. The maximum effective launch range, according to US specifications, stands at 50 km, with a recommended launch distance of 16 km. The use of an active homing head and a datalink 16 data channel allows the missile to be corrected in the middle fly area. In the conditions of the use of these missiles in Ukraine, their primary targets will be cruise missiles and drones. Due to its limited effective launch range of 50 km, the fighters will have few opportunities to shoot down Russian aircraft behind the line of contact, including UMPK carriers. The F-16 fighter uses the Mir STD-1553 bus which simplifies the integration of more modern types of weaponry. Upon the customer request, the aircraft fleet can be upgraded to accommodate new missiles or bombs via a database software update. In the case of the Norwegian F-16s, 
which Ukraine will also receive. These fighters have been modernized for the use of the European Short Range Air to Missile IRST, also known as AIM-2000. This missile boasts capabilities similar to those of the American AIM-9X. It has a maximum flight range of 25 kilometers and employs an infrared capture camera. The arsenal of air-to-ground missiles for aircraft like the F-16 is not extensive but provides the capability to engage ground targets at extended distances and provide direct support. The main and only long-range weapon that is in the F-16 arsenal is the AGM-158 JASSM cruise missile. Under the M6.5 standard, F-16 fighters have access to two versions of this missile, with ranges up to 400 and 1,000 kilometers. The missile has a 400 kg warhead and employs GPS guidance. The F-16 is capable of carrying up to four missiles of this type, although in most cases it only carries two. On the F-16 Block 20 MLU, the ability to employ such missiles is absent. However, integrating them in the future is possible through software updates and integration into the aircraft systems, which are needed for guidance and initial guidance system preparation before launch. The F-16's arsenal also includes long-range glide bombs like the AGM-154 JSOW with a maximum flight range of 130 km when released from an altitude of 8 km at a speed of 960 km per hour. In addition, the aircraft can carry up to 8 JSOW missiles. Despite the possibility of using the AGM-65 Merrick rocket, aircraft of this type use them very rarely and now this missile is replaced by conventionally corrected bombs. The use of harm missiles on the fighter F-16 was implemented using an ANASQ-213HTS special port but its integration has been carried out on special fighter models, which were used to search for and destroy enemy raiders. In addition, the aircraft can use JDAM bombs, which are fully integrated onto the aircraft's weapon system, and have the ability to guide bombs during flight. The current configuration of European F-16 Block 20 MLU fighters does not fully ally with modern trends and largely relies on U.S. industrial complex developments. A significant breakthrough for the prospective modernization of Ukraine's F-16s could be the integration of the European Meteor Medium Range air to air missile which uses a solid propellant air breathing engine providing superior missile characteristics when launched at low altitudes and a greater maximum range than its American counterpart, the AIM-120D. The second key aspect for enhancing the capabilities of these fighters should be a factory upgrade to the M6.5 standard. This could allow the F-16 to use the JASSM cruise missile, AIM-9X short-range air-to-air missiles, and the new American AIM-120D medium-range air-to-air missiles. In addition, in the case of a large funding package for the modernization of this aircraft, it is possible to install a modern ANAPG-83 airborne radar with an active phase array, which will increase the detection range of targets 
and provide a greater probability of detecting low-altitude and small-size targets.